Hey traders, this is Kim from NinjaAddons.com. In this video, I'm going to present you the different settings and options that you can access directly from the new user interface that we have developed in the Harmonic Indicator. Let's start. First, we need to load the Harmonic Indicator. And for this tutorial, I'm going to leave it at the default settings, and I'm going to click on OK to load the indicator on the chart. As you've known, the new harmonic indicator detects nine harmonic patterns, and some of them are totally new in our tool, like the cipher or the 5-0 pattern. From here, you can configure almost everything with regards to the display, like the line color, the line thickness, the font, the size, etc. As well as the ratios and other different numerical values that define each pattern. In this video, I'm going to focus on the display setting, and in the next video, I'll explain the settings you can find in the ratio subpanel, as you can see here on my screen. So let's take the cipher pattern. Oh, by the way, what I'm going to explain with the cipher pattern is the same for every pattern, right? Okay, so the first tab that you can see when you open the panel is the display tab. This is where you can control the draw of the pattern on the chart. The display mode controls the display of the pattern, and when it's set to none, it means no pattern is displayed. When set to all, it means all cipher patterns are displayed. Lastly, you can decide to visualize only the latest pattern by setting the display mode to current. As you can see here, there is now only one pattern displayed. Next, you have various settings to change the pattern colors, outline color, opacity, and line thickness. The next section is to set everything related to the name. You can choose to display or hide it, display the pivot's name, configure the font, the size, the color, and continue with the next settings. Then you can choose to display or hide partial pattern and or invalid pattern. Just a word about that, in our algorithm, the way we coded the harmonic indicator, our harmonic pattern has three possible states, and these are partial, valid, and invalid. So when the pattern is under construction, at some point, we can know that a potential XYZ pattern, for example, a potential cipher pattern, is about to be detected. This corresponds to the partial state. Then, depending on price action, it will be validated or invalidated. Now, to be considered valid, there are dif different rules depending on the type of pattern itself. For, for a certain pattern, the final leg CD has to reach a certain zone, otherwise the pattern is invalidated. For others, the final leg can't overlap a certain level, otherwise the pattern is considered invalid too. And all these rules are synthesized automatically and materialized on your chart by an area, the PRZ according to the harmonic theory, and an invalidation line that you can see here in red. The next section is about the display of the ratios. You might know that all legs are defined by a certain ratio and you can choose to hide or display them on the chart. You can also control the color and the font as usual. The last section allows you to change the tag opacity. Right, now let's move on to the guide tab. So what we call the guide are the PRZ which stands for Potential Reversal Zone, which is a term that you might be familiar with if you are not new to harmonic trading, and also the invalidation line. As explained before, the PRZ is a zone defined by a convergence of different ratios where prices are supposed to slow down and reverse. The invalidation line is the maximum level at which point the pattern is considered invalid because the structure is not conformed to the theoretical pattern. Now from this panel, as you can see, you can display or hide the PRZ and change its color and transparency. You can also display the various levels that define a PRZ. In the case of the cipher, there is only one level, but if we take it, for example, the bat, here you go, you can see that there are five levels that you can choose to display or hide, change the color, show the name, and change the font parameters. Now let's go back to the cipher. Finally, you can control the invalidation line by choosing to hide or display it, changing its color, or showing or hiding the corresponding information. And to finish, let's see the volume tab. 
So this is something we've added in the new version of the Chartist Indicator. And we've decided to add it to the Harmonic Indicator too because in some cases, it can help to see if the pattern has a better chance to work or not, especially when prices are inside the PRZ. But here again, you can control everything with regards to, dis to the display of the volume. And if you don't want them to appear on your chart, you can simply change the first parameter volume mode to none. You can also display the volumes with a mountain style or histogram style. You can increase or decrease the height which is expressed in percentage on the total height of the chart. And finally, you can change the color and opacity. That's all for this video. Again, the explanation given was for the cipher pattern, but there are also true for all other patterns. Oh, by the way, la one last thing before closing this video is that we provide two chart templates that are installed automatically in your computer. So as you can see here, there are two harmonic templates, one for light and the other one for dark skin. All patterns are configured with nice colors and specific display modes, so you don't have to spend hours to configure them. So you just need to right-click on your chart, go to Templates, and then Load, and then select the one you want to use and click Load. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you have any questions, suggestions, or feedback, don't hesitate to send us an email at contact at ninja-addons.com. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to get notified when a new video is published. Thank you for watching. Goodbye now.